reports that Travis Barker is deeply outraged by Kim Kardashian's actions, which have evidently caused significant distress to Kourtney during her high-risk pregnancy. According to sources close to Travis, he was extremely upset upon learning that Kim had broached sensitive topics about Courtney's children during their recent phone conversation, ultimately reducing Courtney to tears. Currently expecting her first child with Travis, Courtney is approaching her due date. However, due to her age, her pregnancy has been classified as high risk, and she recently underwent urgent surgery to ensure the baby's safety. Although Travis has generally chosen to steer clear of the Kardashian family's controversies and has been a private and supportive partner to Courtney, it seems that he can no longer remain silent. Kim's decision to contact her pregnant sister and disclose hurtful information about her children is viewed as an especially malicious act. So how did Travis respond to Kim and Courtney's phone conversation? Could this incident lead to a permanent rupture between Courtney, Travis, and the Kardashians? You may already be aware of the heated argument between Kim and Courtney that was partially aired on the latest episode of The Kardashians. Kim's hurtful comment has sparked significant online criticism, with fans reproaching her for using Courtney's children as weapons against her. What exacerbates this situation is that the phone call reportedly occurred after Courtney had informed her family about her pregnancy, and Kim was aware of the high risk nature of Courtney's pregnancy. Hence, alleged attempts by Travis Barker to persuade Courtney to limit her contact with Kim, at least until she gives birth, appear to be justified given Kim's increasingly erratic behavior. In case you missed the recent developments in the ongoing drama between Courtney and Kim, it all started when Kim reached out to Courtney and invited her to join her in Italy, where Kim was promoting her Dolce and Gabbana campaign. However, tensions arose because Kim had borrowed the concept for her Dolce and Gabbana collaboration from Courtney's wedding, and had also disrupted the harmonious atmosphere at the wedding with her behavior. Consequently, Courtney declined the invitation but expressed her intention to support Kim's project. However, the situation escalated when Kim began manipulating Courtney's perception, suggesting that nothing untoward had transpired at the wedding, and implying that Courtney was overreacting without cause. However, if you have happened to watch the special episode of Courtney and Travis's wedding, you would be aware that noteworthy events did occur, and we are not solely referring to Kim mimicking Courtney's Dolce & Gabbana aesthetic. The primary concern revolved around Kim's demeanor during the wedding. Throughout the event, she appeared disinterested and gave a lackluster speech during the ceremony. However, Kim struggled with the focus being on Courtney and continuously attempted to shift the conversation towards her own wedding to Kanye in Italy. She shared, I'll admit, when I was walking down the aisle in Italy with the long train, I was so nervous I thought I might sprint down the aisle too fast. One of the most unfortunate moments at the wedding was when Kim interrupted Travis's son Landon during his heartfelt speech at the reception. Landon's speech was a touching tribute to the importance of Courtney in his life. However, Kim found it challenging to handle the admiration directed towards Courtney and interrupted Landon, asking him to compose himself. Landon's heartfelt speech continued, expressing his deep connection with Courtney. In these past few months, I've truly come to know you so well and my love for you has grown immensely. You've looked out for me like a mother and always had my back. I genuinely believe you filled the void in my heart so beautifully and have imparted great values and wisdom to me. Together, you and my dad demonstrate what true love looks like. Despite the growing divide between Kim and Courtney, it was evident from Kim's expression that she was seething with anger. The cause of her frustration? Courtney was receiving public recognition for her role in their relationship and her parenting. In a heartfelt moment, a young boy had prepared a touching speech for his father's wedding only to have it interrupted by Kim. While Kim has been in the spotlight for her tumultuous love life, Courtney tried to convey something important during their phone conversation. It was not primarily about Kim imitating her, but rather about Kim failing to share in her happiness on the wedding day. Unfortunately, Kim chose to disregard this perspective and continued to focus on trivial matters like clothing. Courtney remarked, you're missing the point. But Kim insisted, isn't the point about the clothes? You're talking about the looks. Courtney attempted to steer the conversation away from the clothing aspect, asserting, it's not about the clothes, Kim. It's not that innovative. Many people embrace 90s fashion. It's not a new concept. There are only so many looks to choose from. Courtney suggested that Kim was overly focused on minor details, reflecting her egotistical and self-centered mindset. Despite Courtney's remarks, 
Kim once again disregarded her perspective, presenting Courtney as the antagonist in the situation to serve her own interests. On the other hand, Courtney has taken the initiative to seek therapy and acquire effective communication skills. In stark contrast, Kim, who previously discredited therapy, responded defensively and employed another tactic commonly utilized by narcissists. She began involving others and shifted from using I to us, insinuating that all of Courtney's friends have been engaging in negative discussions about her in a secretive group chat. This behavior is a classic example of an isolation tactic commonly used by narcissists. If you're a devoted follower of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you might recall seeing this pattern before. Kim employed a similar tactic with her brother Rob, trying to portray Courtney as someone universally disliked by all of us. She asserted, you hate us, you've become someone else. Kim went on to claim, I don't need your presence in my life anymore. I don't need to be a part of this. She proceeded to claim that all of Courtney's friends were reaching out to lodge complaints, even if Courtney believed they were approaching her directly. According to Kim, these friends were secretly communicating amongst themselves, causing confusion. They even maintained a separate group chat labeled Not Courtney, where they sifted through messages from Courtney's acquaintances. It's worth noting that when Kim mentioned the struggle to comprehend Courtney's transformation into a different person, such outcomes are often natural during a healing process. This can be challenging for narcissists who tend to prefer an unhealed version of you. This pattern is evident in Kim's past behavior, where she encouraged and enabled Courtney to remain in a toxic dynamic with Scott, despite Courtney's misery in that relationship. Now that Courtney has found love with Travis and is finally experiencing a healthy relationship, Kim seems to be trying to convince her that something is wrong. For years, Kim asserted that she provided Courtney with a career and fame, which is why she couldn't tolerate Courtney and Travis receiving attention independently. However, during another moment in their phone call, Kim's narcissistic tendencies became apparent. She revealed to Courtney that all her friends engaged in a secret group chat where they vented their grievances about her. Courtney, displaying resilience, refused to let this revelation affect her. She confronted Kim about her apparent unhappiness and astutely pointed out that Kim's engagement in secret group chats where she gossiped about others revealed her own discontent. This observation struck a nerve with Kim, prompting her to interrupt Courtney swiftly and escalate the situation further. Kim said, Perhaps you need to reflect on why, if you're not happy, you dedicate your time to having side conversations specifically to discuss me. We all have side conversations about various people. That's just a part of life. I, for one, don't engage in such side chats about anyone. Even your children have reached out to me with their issues and expressed their feelings about you. Courtney was understandably emotionally distressed by Kim's exploitative tactics, particularly when it involved her children. Not only did Kim use them to undermine her, but she also targeted Courtney specifically during her vulnerable state of pregnancy. The impact of Kim's hurtful remarks on Courtney was inevitable. Bringing up the children was the final straw for both Courtney and Travis. According to sources close to Travis, he was absolutely furious upon discovering that Kim had made Courtney cry. Reportedly, Travis now supports Courtney's decision to cut ties with her family, especially Kim. What are your thoughts on this matter? Share in the comments section below. Also, if you crave the latest gossip or want updates on your favorite stars and movies, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.